opportunity is a once in a lifetime. I've waited for this opportunity for a very, very long time. It means the world to me. You don't get a platform like this when you're 23. You don't get exposure like this. It's a thing that I won't get in school. What be your own boss means to me is actually experience. It means networking, it means growth. In one word, it just means a difference. Take in every moment, every challenge, every mentor. You're not just the chosen one. You're not just the fortunate one. You're the one required to make good of the opportunity you've been given. I want to prove to myself that I have resilience. I want to see how far can Daisy go? What's my threshold? Somebody asked me, what do you understand by grit? I said, mikiki, mikiki. That is a hustle, hustle. Grit means waking up at four when you got to bed at two. If you snake it, you they're still waiting for you. To be the last boss standing in season two, you need to be the one who goes the extra 10 miles. The fact that I'm here, boy, I'm no joke. I'm a blazer and I'm a burn this place down. Welcome to Blaze, Be Your Own Boss, The Great Edition. This is the show that brings together 12 of Kenya's brightest young entrepreneurs. Each week, we will test them and we will watch as they develop their own business, working together with some of Kenya's biggest brands. They will hope to win a package of 5 million Kenya shillings for their businesses and ultimately become the last boss standing. Assessing their progress will be our three judges. Music mogul, King Kaka. Media queen, Caroline Mutoko. And retail and advertising star, Trusha Ketia. To me, if you can to me, but more graphics. What I expected was to have to paint easy and die because if we find these rugged, rugged looking cars, automatically can hit at in the competition to go to, you know, Mama Kanga, Mikonda Mini Donda Chinyamaji. Welcome the co founder of Matwana Matatu Culture, Brian Wanyama. Yade. Welcome to Blaze BOB Season 2. My name is Brian Wanyama. I am the founder of Matwana Matatu Culture, and we are an organization that promotes, preserves, showcases the matatu industry. We also seek to rebrand and rebuild value in the matatu sector. Matatus are not just a public means of transport, but they represent a whole street culture. And this is through art and music, amongst other things. For this challenge, I'm going to put you guys into two teams, boys versus girls. As Matwana, we want to develop an alternative use of matatus that will be sustainable and profitable. For the next three days, you'll each be given an individual matatu and will be required to create a Facebook page. We'll also be given 20,000 to boost your Facebook pages where you'll have created content for the matatu and present it as a brand. We'll also be required to develop a matatu concept that can be sellable to potential clients. We'll also pilot the project with us. So for each group, you're going to choose a team leader. I'll give you two minutes to discuss. Ladies and gents, two minutes are up. Gents, team leader, please step forward. I feel so good, but at the same time I feel nervous because it's the first time I'm doing this, but it feels amazing. Ladies, team leader, please step forward. 
I'm so excited to be team leader. Nervous-ish at the same time, but I, I, I'm confident that I can do this. Good luck. Hope to see you soon. One thing I think is going on, they underestimate us as ladies, so we are planning to use that to our advantage. I can't say that the guys are stronger than the girls. That, that, that conception may be wrong, but then we'll find out. For the first challenge of this season, our teams will be tasked with seeing a business vision for Matatus far beyond their PSV services. Teams will be evaluated on a combination of online likes and assessment by Matwana and consumers. Now, the Matatu industry has for a long time been seen negatively. This week's brand partner, Matwana, aims to change that impression. They are focused on getting us to see Matatus as beacons of youth culture. Street art. Music, spoken word. Good evening and welcome to Blaze Be Your Own Boss Season 2. I think I'm not the only one who's excited to see you and I'm hoping you're excited to see us. Clearly, no. All right, not a problem. <laughs> I wanted to say that this is about being your own boss. So I'm going to get down to business and the challenge that you had to go through. This challenge is all about taking an existing product, a known product, a Kenyan product, a street product, OK? And you are going to develop a new use for it together with making a profitable business case for it. Obviously, you are going to be judged on the cultural element, there was a value experience and, of course, using social media for promotion. However, as judges, we are very fortunate to have somebody who shadowed you, who was your ghost and your helper, and he was your mentor as well. And this gentleman, in case you're not aware, is a script writer and a TV hit show maker, and he is Abel Mutua. Abel, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will ask the SEAL team, given the challenge and your understanding of it, I want to know what did you do and how did you do it? Our main aim was basically to provide an alternative way of using the Matatu. We came up with this, with this business idea, with this idea called the Chekim Ta experience. Chekim Ta is the alternative way of using the Matatu. As they come into the Matatu, they're, they're, they're learning about their culture, their history. We gave um, my brother here, Kevin, the, the task of of learning the history from, from town to Umoja. So as a result of them coming through, they learn about the check, the check in to experience. Now we, we accomplished this by n naming this experience the, the hot dollar experience. We gave guys um, a credit for 20 bob, and then um, as we were going, before they alighted, we gave them a special surprise, which was a rose, which they can give to, to their mother, their girlfriends, or just their special someone. The numbers don't lie. Yes, At numbers. the end of the day, that's what we're here for. Mm. The SEAL team, uh, you got 2,922 Facebook likes. That's 29 points. The ladies, you got 2,010 Facebook likes. That's 20 points. Karen. For the assessment, SEALs. For enjoyment, an average of eight points. For attitude change, towards a really historical and heritage business, an average of 8.5 points, and for business viability, an average of eight points. Pit stop. For enjoyment, an average of 3.5 points. For attitude change, an average of four points. For business viability, an average of five points. This means for Blaze Beyond Boss season two, challenge number one, the runaway winners are the SEALs with 53.5 points. Congratulations. Like, seriously, congratulations. Well done. Thank you, and congratulations once again. Feeding the people poison. Even your organs may hear them I say. What's happened to my people?